Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 10, Organic Chemistry, where we will be looking at functional groups, homologous series, and basic naming of simple chains, ethers, and esters. All organic compounds can be divided into groups based off their presence of a unique group of atoms, known as a functional group. There are eight key functional groups to learn for your exam, each relating to a named group. The presence of no functional group, i.e. only carbon-carbon or carbon-hydrogen single bonds, this is the case for alkanes. Alkenyl, i.e. a carbon-carbon double bond, these are found in alkenes. Alkynyl, i.e. a carbon-carbon triple bond, these are found in alkynes. Hydroxide, i.e. a carbon-OH group, these are found in alcohols. Carboxyl, i.e. a COOH group, these are found in carboxylic acids. Carbonyl, i.e. a C double bond O. These are found in aldehydes and ketones, with their difference being the position of the group. Ester, i.e. a COC double bond O group. These are found in esters. And ether, i.e. a COC group. These are found in ethers. There are also three additional functional groups that appear in questions, although you do not need to relate them to a group. Phenyl, i.e. a C6H5 group, found within aromatic compounds. Carboxamide, i.e. a NC double bond O group. Nitrile, i.e. a C triple bond N group. And amine, i.e. a CN bond, where the N is bound to two other species. You now understand that organic compounds can be organised into groups, so let's expand on these groups. They are known as homologous series, and all have four main rules to define their members. As discussed, all members contain the same functional group, all members can be defined by the same general formula, each member differs from the adjacent member by a CH2 group, and each member exhibits similar chemical properties, and the series exhibits a gradation in physical properties, i.e. they change slightly as you progress through the series. The three homologous series you need to know in detail are alkanes, alkenes, and alcohols. Let's quickly use the examples of alkenes to illustrate these rules by considering three sequential members. Each contains the alkenyl functional group, i.e. contain a carbon-carbon double bond. Each can be defined by the general formula CnH2n, i.e. substituting 3 in for the carbon length of the first returns C3H6, 4 for the second returns C4H8, and 5 for the third returns C5H10, which all match the formula for these structures. Each member differs from its adjacent member by CH2, i.e. if we add CH2 to the first, we get the second, and so on. We cannot demonstrate the chemical and physical properties here, but trust us when they say they fit the rule. It is important to note that since alkanes, alkenes, and alcohols have a degree of similarity in their structure, they all share the same trend in boiling point. As chain length increases, the boiling point increases. This concept was explained in the third video of our IB Chemistry Topic 4 video series, so check it out if you're unsure. But how do we name each of the organic compounds containing these groups? You would likely be familiar with naming to some extent from your GCSE or MYP knowledge, but we will build to advanced level within this video. You will be relieved to know that you only need to name species from nine homologous series for your exam. To ensure a solid understanding, we will first use the homologous series of alkanes to introduce the naming rules, before translating these to the other series. The first stage in naming any organic species is identifying the longest carbon chain possible within the compound, allowing for bends in the structure. For example, the following three structures have a chain length of 2, 4 and 6 respectively. The length relates to a unique prefix for our name, which is then joined with a suffix unique to the homologous series. For your exam, you need to memorise prefixes for 1 to 6 carbon chains. A 1 carbon chain has the prefix meth, a 2 carbon chain has the prefix eth, a 3 carbon chain has the prefix prop, a 4 carbon chain has the prefix bute, a 5 carbon chain has the prefix pent, and a 6 carbon chain has the prefix hex. Therefore, our examples relate to eth, bute, and hex. Since the suffix for alkanes is ane, if the three chains used earlier were surrounded with hydrogens to create alkanes, 
they would be named ethane, butane, and hexane, respectively. Let's use this understanding to cover the remaining suffixes you need to learn, excluding ethers and esters, as these are named slightly differently, and so will be introduced later. Alkenes have the suffix ene, alkynes have the suffix ein, alcohols have the suffix anol, carboxylic acids have the suffix anoic acid, aldehydes have the suffix anal, and ketones have the suffix anone. Therefore, if we converted our three examples to alkenes by adding a double bond to the first carbon and removing two hydrogens, they would be named ethene, butene, and hexene. If we converted them to alcohols by switching one hydrogen on the first carbon to a hydroxyl functional group, they would be named ethanol, butanol, and hexanol. If we converted them to carboxylic acids by switching the terminal CH3 group to a carboxyl group, i.e. COOH, they will be named ethanoic acid, butanoic acid, and hexanoic acid. If we converted them to aldehydes by switching a hydrogen on the terminal CH3 to a carbonyl group, i.e. making COH, they would be named ethanol, butanol, and hexanol. Finally, if we converted just butane to a ketone by switching a hydrogen on the second carbon to a carbonyl group, it would be named butanone. Note we cannot create a ketone with ethane, as the carbonyl group cannot be present on the terminal carbon in a ketone. Whilst the carboxyl and carbonyl groups must always be on the first carbon within a carboxylic acid and aldehyde, this is not always the case for the alkanyl group in an alkene, the hydroxyl group in an alcohol, or the carbonyl group in a ketone. Therefore, we should always indicate the carbon on which it is found by adding a number to the suffix. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.